Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves 3, a new game out by Naval Warfare Simulations and published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. This is episode number 7 in our Let's Play series, playing as the Italians. And I don't need to talk about what this game is, because we've been playing it for quite a bit on this channel. Uh, basically, you're a naval secretary, and you design ships, build ships, and fight with ships. Uh, but... With uh, that being said, in this series, we're losing a war right now against the French, despite the fact that we've sunk the bulk of the French fleet. In fact, in the last battle, we sank the final French battleship, at least the final one that is in commission. So we do have an advantage now, but we're trying to come from behind from like a victory point perspective because the French had the Italian uh, commerce trade lines blockaded for a while, and so that put a hurt on the home front. Things are starting to turn around, uh, but it's still a hit or miss thing. And politicians are regularly coming in saying they want peace. And, you know, do we want to give them peace? I don't know. Um, we could probably get out of the war pretty lightly, but I'd like to get something for all this time and effort. We've been at war for almost two years now, uh, but we'll see how things play out. This was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel. And uh, without further ado, we're in the midst of a battle off the colony of Angola, which we took from the Portuguese uh, in a random event type deal. Um, but yeah, let's jump back into this thing and see how this plays out. Fight with light enemy ships. Oh, it's at 58% damage, really? Oh, we intervened. Are they three light cruisers? They've at least shifted their fire to me. Armored cruiser versus light cruiser. What is this Safax class? 10 six inch guns. They might actually have a better ship than me. If I can score a hit with the sevens, that could be decisive, but otherwise they'll have a rate of fire advantage and a, I mean, they're scoring a lot of hits on me. So you can see here, our ship is not doing well. I think we're going to slow down and maybe just park up by the installation. At least maybe we can dissuade them from bombarding. You lurker, you bastard. So they don't want to directly challenge my armored cruiser, even though I think they would crush me if they actually decided to fight. And maybe that's what they're going to do now. Question is, are they gonna have enough amp? Like this is gonna this is a weird battle. Okay, how's my ship doing now? Structure float, one flooding. We've scored three total hits. We've taken eleven uh, ten. Drive them off. Drive them back. My own ship is not gonna be in great shape, but you know. Could use some help. Yep, they got me. That felt like a foregone conclusion. But hey, maybe they won't have enough ammo to destroy the installation. We just lost an armored cruiser, though. And did no damage. These guys have no coastal guns. If I had some coastal guns, it might make a difference. 
Damn it. Victory for France. They didn't destroy the target. They left sank a armored cruiser and a transport and very light damage. They have some good light cruisers. I'll give them, I'll give them credit for that. I don't want to go to war with Austria-Hungary, so we'll handle it quietly. 12 more enemy merchants. We lost six. All right, a coastal raid here off the coast of Italy. So let's see how this one goes. We have we have battleships. We have four battleships. So they have to destroy one of our installations, I believe. All right, ship spotted. So let's close. They should at least be outgunned. Probably won't be able to keep up, but... Be cool if I could sink a whole bunch of their light cruisers and cripple their fleet. I don't think that's likely, but at least if we could sink some of their armored cruisers. Also, the more light cruisers we sink, the more uh, difficult their commerce rating is going to be. So mostly my cruisers out front doing the fighting. Is this light cruiser already crippled? Oh, maybe not. My battleships definitely won't be able to close. Bastards. It uh, looks like the Dipfort Therese might be close to dead in the water. Same for the Brooks, actually. So two armored cruisers would be a great victory. Even though the light cruisers seem to be the problem. Brooks is speeding up, so they may have made repairs. Six, eight inches. Yeah, their cruisers are what I would think are good designs. I wonder if we just got a lucky hit. That, like, disabled a boiler or something. Okay, engine room hit. All 
All right, we hit the enemy our light armored cruiser down here with a torpedo from our light cruiser. Usually for a small ship like that in this era, that's a death sentence. This is almost like a semi-dreadnought in terms of its turret layout for the enemy like the enemy armored cruiser. Battleships are chasing the other armored. I, this is a dangerous assumption, but I'm assuming that enemy armored cruiser in the south is going to sink. And we're going to focus on the uh, armored cruiser up north. And hopefully just bury it under a wall of heavy shells. All right, so we've got the enemy flanked on each side by battleships. So we turned around. Can he escape? It's early enough in the day that he may not have the time. Like, if the sun were to set, he might. We're claiming he's only making 10 knots. I don't know that that's true. Although he's definitely slower than our battleships right now. There we go. Dead in the water. Several big hits there. Collision! Our, our armored cruiser collided with him. Hopefully he doesn't sink. Hopefully the enemy sinks and we do not, I guess is what I'm saying. I don't really want to trade armored cruisers. He was already dead in the water pretty much too. Collision seems somewhat random in this game in the sense that like when two units get real close, a collision can happen, but you can like sail straight through the enemy pixel and it won't necessarily sink. Ah, all right. We lost one of our armored cruisers. Stupid collision. The enemy sank at least. Pick up survivors. So two armored cruisers lost to one armored cruiser lost so far in this battle. Should definitely be a victory without, without question, but... Not as decisive as I would like to this point. Maybe we'll chase down one of the other enemy ships. The enemy has a speed advantage, but they're running out of room. They're going to run right into the coast. So let's keep going this way toward night. It is nightfall, so they might escape. Thought he turned back toward me. Damn it. There we go. Spotted him. All right, slow. 
Oh god, there's the whole enemy fleet. I don't actually see anyone shooting. Okay, there we go. The enemy doesn't have battleships, guys, but they do have a lot of torpedoes. Now, with their rapid firing medium caliber guns, I don't know, that could pose a problem for us. Possibly. Hey, we fired a torpedo. Hey, we hit him. We hit the enemy. A battleship torpedo. Let's collide again. Let's do that. She's running in circles. She's not sinking yet. Her rudder must have been hit. Can I get a third armored cruiser? Because that would be like half their armored cruiser fleet. Okay. God, I'm not seeing like any red flashes. You guys can't aim for shit. I guess it's nighttime, but still. He's just rotating here. He's on fire. Heavy damage. All right, so I think he's going to sink now. It looks like he's on fire and he's stopping. Other enemy ships are in the vicinity. So he's dead in the water, which I'm going to assume means sinking. Dangerous assumption, but I, I want to get more enemy ships. I don't even know where my other battleships went. They're further north. It's a Marseille class, another enemy armored cruiser. Their whole armored cruiser fleet must be at this battle. Okay. Score a big hit. All right, we got a hit on it. I think we might have gotten its rudder, too. He's spinning in circles now. Do I have a favorite ship class? Armored cruisers in this era, I think, are the best. They're the best balanced ships. Torpedo out and missed. Right, he's on fire. So I think we might get four enemy armored cruisers in this fight. For maybe only one of our own. That might be the most lopsided fight we've had so far. 
I say that, and I'm just inviting a torpedo to hit me. None of my other... Oh, these guys are in range. Okay. Why don't you go double-check that other battleship? Those are the only two enemy ships in sight at the moment. All right, another torpedo out. Missed. Another enemy ship was trying to fight me, but ran off when I tried to turn toward it. I'm assuming both these dead in the water ships are sunk. I was chasing after what I thought was another enemy, but it looks like they got away. Hmm. I don't know where these enemy ships keep popping up from, but... Like, every time I leave their ships, they come back. Also, I'm not shooting, so I think he sank. All right. There you go. We got four enemy armored cruisers, lost one of our own, three enemy light cruisers lightly damaged. We had a battleship lightly damaged, two armored cruisers, and a light cruiser. And that's a pretty big victory, I would say. So, in a major victory, I get some prestige, 1,700 victory points to 400. And we close, we close the gap a bit here. Received an offer of peace from the enemy, but the conditions are harsh for us. We will not lay down arms lightly. We should answer the insult with steel. We shouldn't be... We're, we have the momentum right now. Like, yes, they have more victory points nominally, but their fleet is getting obliterated. They have four armored cruisers left. We have seven. They have zero battleships left. We have five. Their 22 light cruisers give, have a slight tonnage advantage there, but honestly, we should be like almost blockading these guys. I wonder what the actual... If we go to the map... Land power is sort of an abstract thing, but it is nominally there. All right, so Italy has four battleships, five armored cruisers, six light cruisers. France has 18 light cruisers and an armored cruiser. Minimum strength to blockade is 80. I wonder if we switch all these cruisers out of raid to active fleet, if it'll trigger a blockade. Okay, they couldn't they couldn't feel the force to fight us there. So the enemy raiders are doing some damage to us, and we didn't blockade them there. The enemy has to sink at least two ships, or we have to sink at least two ships. We have a light cruiser, though. That's it. All 
I guess if we can find some merchants. I, is this a commerce rate? I didn't. Please be a merchant ship. Well, it's shooting back. It's claiming to be an armored cruiser, but no visual comfort. No, it's a light. Oh, God. Is it really just my one light cruiser versus a lot more of that for the enemy? I'm not going to sink two of theirs. We're getting some hits, though. Yeah! We hit the enemy light cruiser with a torpedo. And this is not one of their good light cruisers. Yeah. It's not one of my good light cruisers either, but... Maybe we can get two ships if I can find another. You'd think a torpedo would be enough to sink a light cruiser in this era. Probably is. He's probably already sinking. It just hasn't registered yet. He is shooting back still, though. He's dead in the water. Wait, I'm a fire? No. How's my damage going? We've taken one medium hit and tw 12 lights. We've scored seven of our own mediums and 15 lights. So the torpedo is the reason we're winning. Let's pull out of that fight. I think he's going to sink. Put the fire out, boys. Can you do it? Can you put the fire out? I need more torpedoes. Oh, you missed. You fired one, but you missed. Lombardia, be a hero. We're going to lose this fight. Can I get back to port? All right. I'm turning back. Get back into the fight. did you pass at that range and like oh god he's got two eight inchers that is not a light cruiser I don't care what you say and I'm dead rudder's damaged maybe we can sink the uh, enemy corvette Get me back to port. Pretty much dead in the water. I'm done. How am I supposed to sink multiple ships with one light cruiser of mine like this? France gets a victory, but we both lost a light cruiser, right? I guess I'd consider it a victory for them if only because they have so many more light cruisers than we do. I don't care what my spy did with a British. That is a weird battleship. It's like a monitor. Okay. Yay, they declined the battle. Is this 
three light cruisers of ours versus who knows what they have. Could be like 17 light cruisers. The Linoius class. All right, how do these ships compare? So our ships are Minerva class. Six four inch guns, six two inch guns. Six four six two. Six four six two. They've got a Safax, which is ten six inches. Jesus. Two oh my god, these guys are like not armored. These are not light cruisers. Eight inch guns. Those are armored cruisers. My only chance is if they close the range and we get torpedoes. Let's get back toward our port so we can escape if we need to. Oh, one of ours is already dragging behind. Slow the division down, don't detach. Try and get to port. You're not going to make it. Minerva sinking. We're going to lose this whole task force, aren't we? Argoda sinking. Damn it. My light cruisers suck ass. So much for closing the gap in this in this war. Inching along. Can one of my light cruisers escape? Yay. Urine is going to make it. Two light cruisers lost for us. They basically had no damage. Actually, it was just, even though we lost that from a victory point perspective, it was better than declining the fight. All right. How are the ships we're building doing? Seven months away. The Cushion class, as a reminder, two sixes, eight fives. They're a little bit of a better ship, I think. We also have some battleships not that far away. The enemy still has no battleships. And four armored cruisers. I think this is an enemy raid on coastal shipping. I wish it told me where the raid was occurring because I really don't know. We should have decent line of sight because it's daytime. There we go. Pause. They're down here. All right, we found them. The enemy probably has a speed advantage. Maybe. I don't have any ships that are like faster than theirs. That's the problem with all the designs I've seen so far. The best w chance we have is that they're equal speed, but nothing is faster than theirs. If I truly love them, some Jackie Fisher. I think maybe the enemy would want to fight. But it doesn't seem to.
Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin ran away. Bravely ran away, away. He's running to his port. Scenario over. Hey, at least we technically win the battle because they ran away and didn't interdict our shipping. So I'll take 200 victory points. And we're very close. These are like neck and neck in terms of victory points so far. Convoy defense. Am I defending the convoy? I've got battleships doing convoy defense. Okay. Cloudy and rough weather. This is like that one, I think there was one battle where, oh, the enemy has a battleship. They completed a Carno class. 14-inch guns. Only three of them, though. Um, there was one battle in World War II, or I believe, I, the, I think it was the Gneisenau, or the Scharnhorst, or maybe both. Um, interdicted a convoy in the Atlantic. And it had like an old World War I battleship with it. And they fired a handful of salvos. Oh, I can't see anything. Where'd they go? They're there. Okay. Well, it's not the battleship, but I'll take an armored cruiser. If I can hit him, more likely he'll just slowly get out of range. Close the range. The overcast weather and moderate breeze with it being a nighttime battle is making it very difficult. Oh, nice. We got a hit there. I mean, we have an overwhelming amount of heavy shells splashing around. Of course, in this game, torpedoes at night could be a problem. Looks like he's on fire. He's dead in the water. Nice. So probably going to sink. I didn't see a lot of... I didn't, like, really look to see how many... Hits we were scoring, but it wouldn't take much. These are 13-inch shell guns, so really wouldn't take much. Hopefully the enemy battleship turned back and didn't try and double back and hit, hit the convoy. I only saw one AMC on our side, so I don't know how many merchant ships we had. All right, we hit the Marseille with a torpedo from one of our battleships. Actually, these are THG battleships, so they're 12-inchers. All right, it sank. There's the convoy up here. Okay, yeah, so we sank an armored cruiser. Apparently that must have been the what we identified as a Carno battleship because it doesn't show any battleships on here. So a thousand victory points and we are now winning slightly. Um... 
Don't let them get off lightly. Derailed by Hawk Party. Goddamn right. Now that we're winning, we shouldn't give up easy. Of course, the enemy is building a considerable number of battleships. Eight battleships are on the ways. But those are probably a little ways away from being completed, right? Several of them have to be more recently laid down. They are building five armored cruisers, but they only have three, and actually our tonnage is still greater than theirs. They're light cruisers. I mean, they still have 21 of them, but they're not actually building any. All of their effort is in replacing their capital ships. We'll be getting some reinforcements in about five months. But with that being said, uh, things have turned around. We've taken the lead in the game, so that's good. Uh, but, uh, or I guess, yeah, we've taken a very slim lead uh, in the game. But uh, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So until next time, this is the Historical Gamer. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please leave your thoughts down below. And this is Rule the Waves 3, our Italian campaign. Um, and I'm out. Bye-bye.